and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zedjwani elusives. We're gonna have some ag gonna have an aggro day today on this Sunday. So those of y'all that are fans of aggro decks, be a big fan of today. We're gonna be playing uh, four different aggro decks. The other three have Noxus in them, uh, and we got two elusive decks. You know, we're playing this one and the Noxus elusives. Two decks that I think are both quite strong. I think these elusives are really good. Um, this this version, I was impressed. We only played this version one other time, and I was impressed when we played it last time. We we're taking like the championless elusives deck and adding some champions, adding Zed and Sejuani in here. Sejuani basically just being like we're not we're never leveling up. That doesn't matter, but it's just a, a huge overwhelm uh, thing for an aggro deck that also has the frostbite vulnerable. Um, you know, just a really, really good card. And even better whenever you're able to pump it up with things like Jewel Protector um, and, you know, like the Omen Hawk stuff, Fury of the North, all that kind of stuff helps pump up Sejuani. Could still go two Sejuanis, two Windfarer Hatchlings. That's the one thing that I'm not not too sure about. I'm I'm happy with, you know, if you want to go two and two, I'm very happy with that. I'm gonna just get, gonna be playing uh, three and one to try out Sejuani more. But um, that's kind of something to think about that, you know, maybe Windfarer Hatchling and the Sejuani should be evened up uh let's see so that's that's kind of about it you know we're not going no kinku uh i don't know the other wave wayfinder so we're not we don't have to worry too much about um how many freljord and ionia cards we have in here so we we're able to play these fury of the north get a bunch of damage in uh with them fury of the north with zed pretty good pretty good all right let's uh play some zedjuani elusives And here we go. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, it's all good asking uh, simple questions. Feel free, feel free to do that. You know, don't. Um, yeah, you're you're definitely good. Yeah. Don't worry if you think your questions sound stupid. Don't worry about that. I'm. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to answer questions. Well, this hand looks pretty decent. I would like to keep. And please don't kill my Omen Hawk. This Omen Hawk is very important. Because without Omen Hawk, Conspirator, not nearly as good. And we're going back to the beginning board, beginning pet. Don't use them too often. But uh, this deck is kind of like going back to the beginning deck kind of thing. This was uh, probably the best and most played deck whenever I started playing back in like February. All right, so they're likely going to play Remembrance. Which would make playing Zed not very good, because then I wouldn't be able to really attack with Zed. I'm going to just do my Omen Hawk trick again and get another Conspirator in here. And then I can still double spell next turn with uh, Omen Hawk plus one of these. That would have made attacking with Zed pretty poor as well. I don't. I wouldn't do. I probably wouldn't do that play though if I'm my opponent. I mean, I guess it. De I guess it depends on what else they have. Okay, so they're doing that. Okay, so they're just using two cards to deal with my two, my two mana two two. They used two two valuable cards for that. I'm not sure if that's the best use. Hey Salazar. But it works. The world on one arrow. Hmm. Let 
yourself to the shadows. All right, so now I can attack with Zed with. Dang, that's a big shadow assassin. I can attack with Zed with Fury of the North. So they go Frostbite on the Zed. I still get to Fury of the North. It. What are you hiding? The time is right. Strike now. <clears throat> okay, good. Big Omen Hawk. I don't really want to like I don't know, I don't really want to like bounce Aberosans, stand together. Ash right here. I think I may just take another five. I could I could block with Omen Hawk. Um I don't really I don't really want a Fury of the North. Hmm. I'm just gonna take five. You are the people. My life for the order. It's an early purify. So I was kind of just plan planning on going Shadow Assassin, Shadow Assassin. Um, but now I wish I would have played the Omen Hawk first and pumped up the Green Glade duo. Um, let's see. viewers for you just went from 9 to 70. It was probably just lagging behind. On my screen, it, you know, it was like in the 40s, 50s the last time I looked, and yeah, now it's a 70, so it was probably just lagging behind for you. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. So maybe I should have... protector maybe I should have blocked with this thing would have freed up a spot for me of course I didn't I didn't know that that was gonna be drawn that green glade duo either donation deck man I, I really need to figure out what is wrong with that <laughs> the donation deck message I think it's because the messages are so long that they just kind of get stretched out like that let me let me read what you got here <laughs> I'm sorry about that um all right, anyway, let's see. We will attack, 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 attack. All right, and attack. Hey, Todd, awesome stream. Keep up the good work. Could you please play my Pursuit of Perfection deck? All right. It's 90 to 95% inspired from a list Mogwai played the other day, and it's a lot of fun. All right, cool. Will do. that down pursuit of perfection wow that is great wait does that mean we win that was not a oh darn i'm gonna say that was not a harsh wins or anything i'll lead us to victory I 
have seven damage coming through. Insolent cur. Eight damage what coming through. Kind? Seven damage coming through. All right, so we don't kill them with uh, Fury of the North. We're obviously just going to bounce this thing. And then I guess I just let damage happen. I could put them down to one, but I don't really see the point of putting them down to one. I was expected... Um, No, you're you're good, pickup artist. You're good. I was expecting harsh winds, to be honest. Unyielding Spirit's a lot better. So we we know they just drew um, the card that Frostbites everything. That thing. Crystal Arrow. So the problem's going to be if they have... If they have Winter's Breath, kind of randomly. Kill all this stuff. They do not. They'll never see me coming. And I'm just going to be going straight to attacks. Um. <laughs> hey, Grace Claw. Well, I, I meant you don't have to leave, pickup artist. Winter, take you. If I pass priority and then they have brittle steel, they still don't kill. Oh no, because I can't play Fury of the North, so they would kill me. So brittle steel would actually kill me if I pass priority, because uh, this thing's just fast. So I guess to make sure that we don't die, I need to play it. And if I play it, what do I want to pick up? Pick up Shadow Assassin, so I can play, so I could draw another card if need be. I guess I do, I do need to make sure I don't die to Brittle Steel. Because because they would, they would Brittle Steel this thing, and then Ash Frostbite's the big thing. And then I couldn't block. Nobody could block. They're going to do one damage, are they? No, they wouldn't brittle steel. So Ash, Ash Frostbite's the 6-5. They'd brittle steal the, the Green Glade duo. And then attack, and Ash Frostbite's the 6-5 whenever it attacks. So underrated. It really is. I think Frostbite just in general is underrated. Because Frostbite is burst speed, it plays a lot, you know, plays a lot better being burst speed. I think it's I think it's underrated. 
All right, if you recall a buffed unit, like something that was buffed by Omen Hawk, for example, do the stats reset? Yes, they do. Yeah, so if, um, you know, you have a 3-3 three, three Shadow Assassin because the Omen Hawk, you bounce the Shadow Assassin back to your hand, the Shadow Assassin turns into a 2-2 two, two again. Yep, whenever it goes back to your hand, it resets, like, the things that, like, reduce the mana cost or pumped it up, like Avro's and Hearthgrowth, Omen Hawk, that kind of stuff. It does reset. Uh, all right, we got Omen Hawk, we got Shadow Assassin. That's a good start. Life Blade is slow. Sejuani's expensive. I basically mulligan Life Blade almost every single time from the opening hand. The only times I keep in the opening hand is like if we're playing against like Burn specifically. And even then, it's really like if I have a Jewel Protector with it, because <laughs> it's still just a two-two. That like your four mana card dying to Mystic Shot isn't isn't great. Oh, Vladimir. Lost I got you. Pick it back up. Mr. Sid Redeem, change the pet. Would you like me to change the pet to Mr. Sid? Uh, I'm Zoo, did we just play you? If so, GG's. Um, if not, still GG's. So that's gonna challenge. Okay, yeah, you're the Lux Lux Ash deck. Yeah, that was real good, real good match there, real close. You cannot escape. All right, but yeah, Mister said, "Who? What? What do you want me to change the pet?" Jewel Protector be able to, you know, Jewel Protector next turn to pump up Sejuani. We are attacking on evens, which is very good for Sejuani. <laughs> change, change the fed to a hawk with a tie. That would be sick. Deny doesn't stop very much stuff, does it? <laughs> Everything's just burst. Sometimes I see hot, just needs warm spot. Deny's not really stopping stuff. I'll try anyone. So the best thing to do would be to to do the Omen Hawk, right? Because that's just so much overwhelm damage. The kind of problem is that they'd have like a transfusion, but if they had transfusion, I feel like they would have played transfusion last turn. From the savage cold. Yeah, this can be you know eight damage.
Brahm's only halfway there. Okay. You want Bailey. And there we go. That's why we're playing Sejuani. Because it's really strong. Definitely a lot. The Sejuani was a lot better than the um, Bailey. There we go. Tony was a lot better than Windfair Hatchling would have been, you know, with us attacking turn six. That was perfect part of the curve. Hatchling would have been a lot slower. I'm gonna wait another two turns for it. All right, opponents going deep. Going deep. Quietly. Attack. All right, we're going Green Glade Duo turn two, not Conspirator. If we put Omen Hawk in play, maybe we'd want to go like Conspirator to pick it up, and then we'd go like Green Glade Duo, Omen Hawk, or... Oh, it's an Omen Hawk. Everything's better with company. Says you. Arithmetics! Oh no, Arithmet... Arithmetic. Uh, it's like Arithmetics, but with a D instead of a T. Arithmetics? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> but, thanks for the second... Some month in a row. I guess I should figure that out. Uh, that's our first sub of the day. Not a two. One. Oh, thank you so much. That That's really kind to still stop by and do that. It says, I don't watch the game, but I followed you during your magic days and continue to use my Prime sub on your channel. That's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, not, not a bad trade for us. They didn't get to gain, I mean, they gained two life, I guess. So they, they didn't get to gain all three, but they gained two life. Not the worst trade. Kind of wish I was doing that during a turn when we're attacking with Green Glade Duo. Oh, let's see, should I wait? No, I, I also just want to pump these things up twice. Looking for this. Whatever those are. A jewel Protector. That thing's pretty big. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Reel him in. Alright, good six damage. Third of the life total, put him down to twelve. Alright, no Devour of the Depths. That's something that I was kind of thinking they were going to be playing right there, was Devour of the Depths. He's a dangerous land. He's a dangerous land. Alright, going straight to attacks. I don't have lethal. Oh, man. All right, we're not going straight to attacks anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Uh, yep. 
Because let's see, so five, seven, nine. I could just go Fury. Um, and then I still have Elixir of Iron. So I do have Lethal if I play the Fury. Just again, makes a lot more sense to do this first. You own what so I don't know if they'll have like a Vengeance or something. But now I guess Aven I guess this doesn't really help me against Vengeance. Alright, so that should be lethal, right? I haven't done no math, but kind of assume we're doing a lot of damage. Born for conquest. Strike for the balance. Yeah, 17. Sedwani's awesome. We survive. And again, it doesn't matter whatsoever that we're never gonna level up Sedwani. It doesn't matter. You just over you know, you just it's just a huge overwhelm thing that you get to choose who blocks it. You know, you just take their their one toughness thing that you never kill anyway, because our deck doesn't have removal, so they always have like their little one one out. And you just challenge the one one and you just do a bunch of damage to him. All right, the opponent's still going deep. Still going deep. Mm. We'll look in the other blade scout. Do I think Sejuani is going to get nerfed this week? I I would have said no, except uh, they did announce that 20 plus cards are changing. And so if there's that many cards changing, maybe. So dredgers just, I think they just tossed the other two dredgers. Which is good for me. The Yordle here's with me. All right, well, Zed's not looking so great against Thorny Toad. So unfortunately, we drew another one. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. They had a great start, though. I mean, that's that's like the best turn one, two, three that that their deck can have, right? Look like this. this game's not over. Arithmetics, gifts in the sub. Thank you so much. Awesome. Uh, Evan Wave. Getting that sub. Now, Evan Wave, you get to throw out your hype boats. Uh, every new time we get a sub like that. That is awesome. So I guess we are just going to be playing... I guess we're just going to be playing Zed. And hoping Zed does some stuff. Not the best Zed uh, board for us. These are dangerous lands. Never see a 
All right, well, yeah, th thanks still. Hey, thanks, Arithmetics, and uh, recommend checking out... Uh, uh, recommend checking out the game. It, it is awesome. Yeah, you, know, you can play it on mobile and everything, too. Um, definitely give it a try. All right, so... Zed's gonna die to this Withering Whale. Obviously, another Withering Whale would be a nightmare. Planning on bouncing to Thresh. So I could go straight to attacks or Or I could do a lot of damage with Sejuani. The problem with Sejuani is is ruination. So the problem is ruination. They have not, like with their different toss things, they haven't tossed a ruination. <laughs> Who doesn't know the name at all? Maybe I'm just too scared. Oh, so they need some kind of removal spell now to stay alive, you know, just and but any removal spell whatsoever keeps them alive. And that one. Rex. That one wrecks me. Um, can I do both of them? lose this game. The Withering Whale is really strong. It's a double Withering Whale. That was quite rough. And, you know, they had uh, and the Thorn Toad actually, the Thorny Toad actually was is just great against Zed. So yeah, having one drop Thorny Toad, 3-2 Lifesteal, and then Withering Whale Withering Whale Thresh. Like, very good hand.
I just don't want to play stuff pre-combat against a deck that has a Ronation. So I don't I don't really want to play like the Life Blade right now and then do this pre-combat, even though I don't get the vulnerable now. not working out. This is not working out at all. I'd be happy with that. Just make that block. Don't quite have lethal with Fury of the North. I'd put them Fury of the North and put them down to one. So close. Yeah, and so basically, I'm, I'm not going to play the Fury of the North to put them down to one, because then, you know, we can have this be a new leveled up Sejuani uh, for us if this Sejuani dies to anything that they want to kill it with. Dang. Would have just drawn this Fury of the North last turn instead of the Omen Hawk. Like if we would have just switched those two draws, could have definitely gone for Lethal last turn. But that's not how it goes. Sure, yeah, I died to atrocity. I don't I think this is my best best chance of winning though. I don't think we can really make any play the like too good of a play to keep us alive through atrocity, to be honest. I mean Yeah, we had to fear the Norse something else, block this thing, have our Sejuani die, but then how are we how are we doing five points of damage to them at that point? We have like a five six that doesn't really get through and uh, doesn't do five damage. Like, I, I can't really win at that point. They have this elusive blocker. Enough stalling. So 
So yeah, we could we could do more to stay alive, but I don't think that that helps us win. And we're not in the we're in the point of the game where the the more turns that go, I mean, the more turns go, the better for our opponent. But we have to try to win next turn. So yeah, if I go double fury on my elusive to block their elusive and kill theirs, how do I how do I how do I do five points of damage at that point? My Sejuani's gone. I have a 4-4 against a 9-8 and just a 2-2 elusive. At that point. Four for conquest. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if they disconnected. I don't know if they were. Did they just have like nothing and were upset? I don't. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I kind of feel bad putting that down as a win, but I mean, we won. And we are going to have the opportunity to, to have lethal again. <laughs> they were hoping that I would concede and accidentally press their concede button. Yeah, who knows? Who knows what happened right there? Will of Ionia is good against Fiora. Maybe I should keep Will of Ionia. It's, it's kind of good against all those champions. But it's expensive. It's not really a card that I like that much. Yuck. Wow. This is... This is our reward for winning that last game. We get this incredibly ugly hand. Okay. That makes it better. My own Omen Hawk is really what I need to draw. Omen Hawk. Yuck. This is maybe the worst hand I've ever had with with an elusive deck. This is pretty gross. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. This is pretty gross. Yeah, this is how, yep, this is why the five wins is hard. Don't go 5-0 with very many decks. Um, I did start posting about 20 days ago. Did start posting, is that the, is that the command? No. All of the, the 5-0 five, five decks, five wins? Nope. There we go, five win is the command? All right, we're going to start making some more commands. All the five win decks to decks of Runeterra. I'll have five mana next turn. One, two, three, four... Uh, 
I think I think we did the 5-0 with Unyielding Hecarim before that. That was longer than 20 days ago. For the honor of House Laurent, try me. is just so bad. And tonight tonight's not going to do anything at all against Frostbite. I think everything's going to be burst. Awesome, cool, Conda. Yeah, glad you're glad you're enjoying that Fiora Vi deck. Yeah, that deck is that deck is good. I like that one too. Yeah, there's there's a meta, but but yes, many decks are are good. Yeah, that's that's something they really tried with this deck. Where with this game, they tried to make everything good, where you can play everything, where you don't just play one or two decks. Um, Man, I need to work on my commands. If you want to kind of check out um, popular decks and decks that are doing really well, I uh, recommend um, checking out... Is this a command? There you go. Uh, Mobilytics has a great uh, stats page. They'll never see me coming! And yep, next week. I'm surprised they're changing. They said they're changing 20 plus cards. Seems like so many cards. This will be quick. Hang on, Zern. Changing 20 plus cards. And no, we're not going to be winning this. Um, Fiora decks are, are traditionally good against elusives, but this hand that we had was horrific. This was horrific. You could drop like as poor of a hand as you could have. This is it right here. Yeah, twenty. Um, this is the news web. That's the news website for Runeterra. Play Runeterra. dot com new slash news. Um, and then the siege that season of fortune article that just came out uh, two days ago. No one goes hungry. Um, they kind of describe what's going to happen in the next the next few months um, with patches and stuff. And it says um, there's going to be a bunch of new personalization items in the store, 20 plus card balance changes and reworks and an update to Master's Tier LP. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Don't want any trouble.
I'm guessing the 20 plus probably means like 21, but yeah, I guess it could mean anywhere to, to 29. I think that's the biggest, like, I don't think they've ever had a patch where they've updated 20 cards. I think the last balance patch that we just had last month where things changed, you know, like Vi and all those cards changed, I think, I think somebody in chat said that that was 18 cards changing. I think that's the most we've ever had. Change. Uh, let's see. with blades. I'm sure it takes their time too with all these yeah, playing very slow. Yeah, they were mad at me because I took a while. I was doing something else. I think I took a little while at the beginning of like one of these turns, and now since then they just are playing super slow. Time for a leap of faith. Have to stay alive and then also be able to do a damage to them next turn through frostbites and stuff like that. Feel the sizzle. I don't really envision a world where both of those things happen. Well, maybe. I guess this is only that's only ten damage if they do that. Leaping into action. Did 10 damage. What's the chance that they don't have any frostbite cards in hand? I mean, I guess that's that's the that's what we're going with. Why can't you stop frostbite? out of brittle steel range they have to have harsh winds or um something you know darn oh well, we had a chance that's what you that's all you can do really is you can only just give yourself a chance Because you really don't want you really don't want all spells and Navori conspirators and nothing else. Because <laughs> you can't play anything. 
And that's what we had. I mean, we did draw the Green Glade duo, but still, man, that was... That was really bad. Ugh. And we still we still had a chance to win. You know, we forced them to have, like, ba like, you know, just, like, two cards that they would have. You know, either Harsh Winds or Flash Freeze. Forced them to have one of those. Um... Yeah, I mean, it was it was definitely possible that, that we won there. Because, you know, like, uh, our thing was too big for single combat and stuff like that. Yeah, one, one minute, Patrick. All right, so so there we go. So there's Zedjuani Elusives. Uh, definitely a good deck. Zedjuani looked awesome. You know, like, this card really did perform well. Uh, definitely helped us win a lot of those games. Um you know, pump, getting Sejuani larger with like Jewel Protector and everything. Um, yeah, that's a that's a really nice combo. But this is a good aggressive deck. You know, that's what we're playing today. We're playing a bunch of aggro decks um, with with a uh, with a pretty decent late game and lots of good tricks and stuff like that. So anyway, so there we go. So that's Zedjuani Elusives. Uh, those y'all watching later on at YouTube, hit that like button over there and. Uh, feel free to uh, leave those comments as well. Always like those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.